Welcome to this tutorial in which I will show you my strategy for building a fully functioning city without vacant buildings in SimCity 4 Deluxe. To make this tutorial not too long, I will make use of an unlimited money mod and an unlocking cheat. Nonetheless, without cheats this method will still work. It is just going to take some more time that way. Alright, let's start off by dragging a checkerboard pattern of avenues. This will make our city good to reach from neighboring cities and will make it easy for our commuters to navigate to their workplaces. After we have done this, we will need to construct a few roads in order to make sure our future inhabitants will be able to reach our avenues. To stop the bitching of my advices, I will pause the game during my city planning. Now let's construct a railroad. Railroads are very important for our sims to travel between cities or in ca our case within a city. We make traveling within the city possible by building multiple stations across the railroad later on. After you have finished your railroad, continue with the elevated rail and the underground. Sown the underground on a way that on every junction of your avenues there will be a crossing between the underground tubes too. After that, be sure to put a station on every cross. This will make it possible for our citizens to travel even short distances with our underground. Now that you finished your underground, continue by placing bus stations next to every metro station. This will give our citizens even more alternatives to travel so the commuting time will decrease and consequently there will be no vacant buildings as a result of too high commuting times. Be sure to add stations to your railways. Another way to decrease the commuting times is by connecting the various transport methods you constructed in your city. For example, this can be done by a subway to elevated rail station. Now we arrive at an essential part of our city planning, the alignment of our streets. Again, we do this by making some kind of checkerboard. By dragging these streets manually, we can be sure that the streets will connect properly with the streets in all the segments of our checkerboard created by the avenues. This will make it possible for our residents to use our avenues less often in order to reach their work. So the avenues will be less crowded and as a result of that the commuting times decrease. Now let's continue with the zoning of our commercial and residential areas. The way we are going to do this is by zoning the different areas in a strike pattern. This will cause jobs to be as close to the employees' houses as possible. Now continue to the facilities panel. I want to construct a deluxe police station but I first have to unlock it. To save time I will cheat. I use the cheat you don't deserve it. This will unlock all buildings. After this, I continue with placing the police station, hospitals, schools and fire station. Let's continue with the electricity, water and garbage facilities. I always choose for the hydrogen power plant because it's safe and supplies you with enough power. Also I built two big pumps to get the water I need and I construct the necessary pipes. If you want a garbage disposal in your city, I would always choose for the burn factory as it relieves you immediately from any garbage concerns. Last but not least is the construction of parks. 
This will lower the pollution of your city and consequently raises the landfill. Now just lower the taxes for a bit, sit back and watch your city grow. This was my tutorial about how to construct a efficient and working city in SimCity 4. Subscribe for more tutorials and don't be shy to leave questions in the comments section.